SummerSlam is going to be presented by WWE 2K22, and even on the most recent SmackDown, Michael Cole actually alluded to what we could actually kind of expect when it comes to WWE 2K22. So I want to break this down and a few more little tidbits for you about the game right now. All right, everybody. So WWE 2K22, we are still kind of waiting for some real official news coming out about the game, but I'm getting very excited because we are on our way to SummerSlam. And I feel like every single week on WWE programming, we may be getting a little bit more and more. Here's why I think that. Obviously the WWE 2K22 infographic popped up on SmackDown showing SummerSlam and sponsored by 2K22. Michael Cole then went off to read the little bit of the blur of the marketing statement that says, SummerSlam is presented by WWE 2K22, rebuilt engine, smoother controls, better gameplay, and all your favorite WWE superstars and legends, WWE 2K22, it hits different. So this is interesting because it's giving us a little bit to work with in terms of what this game could actually look and feel like and how it actually may actually quote hit different than that of the previous years. What we're hearing kind of speculating online right now is that the control scheme could be revamped and tightened up to reflect that of games in the past like a No Mercy. If you guys check out Unique Mazik online, he does a ton of NBA 2K coverage and a little bit of WWE 2K coverage. He's been known as kind of like a NBA 2K insider reporter. Uh, and he does a little bit on the WWE 2K side of things and in his recent episodes, and I'll link it in the description below, but in his most recent episodes, he talks about, you know, GM mode being almost a lock at 100% in the game. He talks about how the control scheme could be tightened up and look like games of the past like a No Mercy and taking cues from that to kind of simplify all of it. Michael Cole's statement on SmackDown kind of reading this off and the first one being that of a rebuilt engine has me very interested. I don't read this as a complete redo and rebuild of the engine replacing the engine that is existing today. I don't think we're gonna get that at all because I don't think there's enough time in the world for 2K to turn around and actually revamp the entire thing. What I think it does allude to is that we are potentially going to see a redesign of the existing engine, focusing in on how grapples are done, what the layout of the controls are, maybe it's simplified a little bit more and it's taking cues of older games like No Mercy or WrestleMania 2000, where we were actually getting things just to be able to do different moves by hitting the different button sequences, which I would really appreciate. I love the simplicity of a No Mercy control scheme that worked for years to this day it's still like the best i don't think it will go like for like but i do think that they could take some cues from this if they are talking about a rebuilt engine graphically looking at 2k 20 2k 19 we're not i don't think that we're going to see a stark difference in terms of the graphics or how the gameplay overall is i think that WWE 2K22 is still going to fall under that wrestling simulation, that WWE simulation that we've known about. But I think it would be interesting to see what it is that they could rebuild for this thing. And we talk about like better gameplay. My hope is that they could even go back just even a little bit to 2K19 where it felt a lot smoother than that of the broken 2K20 that we've all experienced. But a smoother, good paced, well-crafted stories within the actual matches themselves, that could all work. Now, I did mention Unique Mazik online about his posts regarding 2K22. In one of his most recent episodes, he did say that GM mode is almost a 100% lock. GM mode is almost a 100% guarantee going to be in WWE 2K22. Almost 100%. And so why do I say that? A few reasons. And then I won't say that this is necessarily number one, but the poll results that 2K put out last year when they were talking about the modes and things that people asked for the most. GMO was at the top, right, for, for new features that people wanted to see. Probably number one, I've spoken with people who would know. And now this was in the very early stages of the game being developed. But people who would know have actually told me that GM mode is about as safe a bet as possible to be in this game. So that 
was presented to me as that's not even anything to worry about. It'll be in the game. Let's take that with a grain of salt because you never know what 2K is going to do. I can't imagine that they would ignore by the whole community out there that has shown their support and want and desire for actually having GM mode back in the game. But hopefully this means that it is coming and that we would expect come something completely refreshed with new creative ideas when it comes to a GM mode. And a lot of you in the community have also asked me as well as like, when do you think that we'll actually see some new updates and some new like reveals and everything? SummerSlam typically every single year is around the time when 2K comes out to give us more information regarding the roster, some gameplay trailers, some more information regarding the WWE games themselves. This year being sponsored, SummerSlam being sponsored by 2K22 does have me much more interested, which is that they could have a much bigger presence. So I do expect SummerSlam to have something really big shown off. We got a massive, massive event being held in Las Vegas. I think that WWE 2K22 has been quiet with all of the dev diaries basically being pushed away. Tons of talent have been released over the last few months. And with everything kind of settled now and very, very quiet up until SummerSlam, I think now is the time that you really get out there for 2K and start releasing a lot more information. The last thing I'll say is that I have seen this pop online and I would be curious myself, we could see and why we should see maybe a SummerSlam showcase mode. I do 100% agree with this. I don't necessarily wanna see a showcase mode that is focusing in on individual superstars. We talked about this in previous episodes about how we over the years, we get a Daniel Bryan, we get Stone Cold, we get all of these different focuses on superstars themselves. You get the women's division, the four horsewomen focused on in previous years. But I think this year would be really, really smart of 2K to one, it would allow them to open things up from content standpoint, not being shoehorned into one individual superstar, but if they do focus on huge moments of SummerSlam, in their showcase mode, you could have amazing matches showcased like Shawn Michaels, Triple H, you could have uh, Rock versus Brock, Brock versus Kurt Angle, Undertaker in there at SummerSlam, Randy Orton at SummerSlam. You have so many different matches that you could go and highlight over the course of the history of WWE, going back to the early 90s, for example, and being able to showcase those in their showcase mode. So again, instead of having to be pigeonholed with focusing on an individual superstar in showcase mode that could maybe not click with a larger audience, I'd rather them go with that where it's gonna be broader, allow me to go in like they've done in previous years of showcase where I can go in like Attitude Era and pick the different matches that I would like to select to be able to go and watch. But that allows them to play within the confines of the roster that they have kind of set up and signed off on and not worried about anything kind of feeling out of date because you're actually just trying to highlight and showcase and promote SummerSlam itself. I think it would be a good marketing tool. It ties in with SummerSlam extremely well, obviously, and it would get fans excited because they know they would get a little bit more variety when it comes to that showcase mode instead of it getting dull and boring if it doesn't really click with them with the star that they're trying to highlight individually. But let me know in the comments below, what do you think we're gonna get if we are gonna get a showcase mode? Do you think that we are going to get a rebuilt engine and you know refined control and gameplay coming out of 2K22? SmackDown is coming up and I'm very curious to see if they are gonna show any other footage, information, and post anything, but stay tuned to the channel over here. Give it a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed the show and all the content. I'll have all your coverage for WWE 2K22 and more every single week here on Assemble. Thanks so much for watching everybody. And as always, thank you all for assembling with us. See ya.